Okay, quick. Quickly let it out, go on. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Alex. Happy birthday to you. How's you come out? <laughs> huge. It's personalised to you, look. Yeah. <laughs> Pokemon! Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Attempt it. My favourite part is how everyone can see through the window. Hang on, no. Because there's gummies at the bottom. Go on, just go for it. There we go. Just do a really thin. Well, actually, I suppose if you do a bigger one, we can, can share cut it. In half. There'll be a support in it. There'll be, um, I imagine, anyway. Well, she's very talented. That's too big. How is it going to go on this plate? Well, it's not going to go on this plate, is it? There we go. Wow. <laughs> chop it in half. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. Gosh. Is Victoria's Sponge Victoria's your favourite? Sponge. Look at that. Boy oh boy, I'll leave who made it down below. I'll show you in a second. It's so incredible. Good morning from Brighton. We are in Brighton this week for Alex's birthday, which was yesterday. I haven't vlogged because it's a holiday and we wanted to take some proper time off but I'm vlogging today because it's our last day in Brighton and we're going to London tomorrow so I'll try and capture that. I thought I'd show you our room quickly. We had a little bit of a drama with the original hotel that we booked but we managed to rectify it. We're now at the Brighton Harbour Hotel and Spa. We've stayed here in St Ives and it was amazing so yeah we we knew it'd be great here because they have a swimming pool and it's just it's beautiful. Please excuse the mess but I want to show you the room. <laughs> Got a lovely big bed. Obviously the bed's not been made because we don't need to make the bed right now. <laughs> We've got a bath in the room, which is lovely. And it overlooks the sea. Look at that, how exciting. And then we've got our little coffee station, which is piled up with makeup and electronics and Alex's clothes. Alex is sleeping in our little seating area with his birthday cards. And then here's our lovely view so you can see the old well sometimes this steams up because of all the sea air but you can see the old pier there and then you can see brighton pier over there which i think we might go to today what do you reckon kind of happy just to sit here <laughs> pool time. i want to show you um alex's cake i tried wrapping it up i don't know what we're going to do with it because it's so huge <laughs> but look how amazing this is it's victoria sponge it's totally vegan and it's absolutely delicious. Oh yeah, let me show you the bathroom. This is our bathroom. All my products out, lovely shower, our costumes drying, and yeah. We've had a lovely time so far. We've been at all of our favorite places and new places. Um, where have we been? We went to Purezza, which was incredible. What the Pitta, Kusaki. love that. Kusaki was the highlight so far. Best meal I've had in years the whole experience was incredible so if you're in brighton please go to kasaki because basically it's it's like a sort of almost like a tasting menu because you order like small plates and they come out one by one and the food is absolutely incredible and just the whole experience the restaurant vibe the lighting in there the waitresses the staff everything about it it was a 10 out of 10 experience I absolutely loved it and so did Alex and then yesterday for Alex's birthday we went to the breakfast club for breakfast they have a really great vegan section selection and then we didn't really have lunch because we had that well, was kind of like brunch we had some cake and then we went to Terra Terre for dinner which was also really lovely and today we've just had some food from Deliveroo and we're gonna go out and explore and then tomorrow I'm in London for a work event <laughs> which is kind of surreal. It's been so long since coming to London for a work event. Funnily enough, we were in Brighton 
um, and then this this work came up and I was like oh we're in Brighton that's actually really good timing because we can just go to London for the day so we're doing that tomorrow and then we're going back home but I feel pretty tired actually today we stayed up quite late what are you doing Alex is tired as well oh. let's just go outside and then see what we want to do and then come back in we literally can if you want <laughs> we can just go for a walk and then come back in Let's and go in the pool the yeah i think we just need to get outside we had to do a bit of work things this morning that i've been putting off because obviously we were busy frolicking around for alex's birthday yesterday oh well, yeah we had a massage yesterday that was nice and we went in the pool we did after the the fire alarm oh my gosh yeah we've had such drama with our hotels first hotel was a nightmare and then this hotel <laughs> we had to evacuate because there was a chemical leak or something in the pools yeah totally. it was all okay we had the plans to like maybe we'll go to the marina and go bowling and do crazy golf and watch a movie but oh that's a lot of things you had plans to do that today what like a selection of those are three <laughs> things we could do you should do one of those things you can't do all of those yeah, things but like would i rather i know it's like would i rather just go and sit in like a hot tub or a sauna well we can decide in that after we've been outside or is that boring i mean it's so windy no. outside no, it really isn't boring. I would love to go to the cinema or go bowling and go in the pool, to be honest. That'd be nice. Okay. <laughs> it's just slice of cake. <laughs> you can't eat all that. Do you want to cut it share in half? We should share in half. <laughs> you screw that. I'm coming. Thank you. Good evening. It's a long while later since I last picked the camera up. Um, we had a meal at Food for Friends. Not gonna lie, I had a bit of a like anxiety attack moment, but we got through it. <laughs> we had some food and then um, came home. We had some of Alex's birthday cake, which was beautiful and a tea and just felt a bit more relaxed being in the room. I think it was like just being around a lot of people and just out and about and other things. And it was nice to come back. It was so cold outside and windy. We were gonna go to the pier, but we started walking there and we were like, uh, it's super cold, are we gonna do this? Because it had been like hailing and like snowing almost. We came back and then I went and used the gym because they have a gym here and I haven't used it yet. Hello? Alex is coming out of the shower. And I knew that would make me feel better if I ever feel anxious. It's really difficult to make me myself go because my routine at home is very much like gym and it really just helps me um, have that routine every day. It just makes me feel better. So when you don't have that routine, it can really throw me off and it did make me feel so much better using the gym. So we, I used the gym and then we went to the pool and that was just lovely. I want to make the most of all the facilities here because it's so lovely. So we used the... They have like a hydro pool down there. They have a big pool. And then you go downstairs into these kind of like underground um, tunnels where they've got jacuzzis, they've got a sauna, a steam room and a little sort of relaxation area. So we used all those and it was just really relaxing and lovely. And now we're back upstairs just having the remainder of the champagne from yesterday from Alex's birthday. So just have, have a glass here. So I'm going to finish this. And then we're going to go to Moshimo. Is it Moshimo or Mishimo? How's it Moshimo? Moshimo. We used to go there quite a lot uh, when we lived here because they always had a deal on which was half off and it's such good food. So we're going to go there this evening. Our whole trip basically has revolved around food. We haven't done much exploring or adventuring at all, but I think that's what we, ne we needed. We don't need to because we've lived here. We've lived here and... We realised that today when we came back to the room, I think we were like, I think we just needed a day where we just chilled and didn't do anything because we're going tomorrow. So I think 
tomorrow morning we will use the pool and everything for the one last time and then we're going to London. Yeah, I'm really, really excited for food tonight because I've really missed the food there. They've got like a convey about and you can just eat as much as you like and it's just so good and I can't wait. And then maybe we'll have a bath because there's a bath in this room over here and we haven't used it yet. So I think we need to use it because we did buy some bath bombs from Lush. So I think we'll end the evening with a bath and get up tomorrow and we've got an event tomorrow and then we're gonna go see dear Evan Hansen I'm so excited we booked it tipsy the other night <laughs> because I was saying that oh we're gonna be in London we should go see a show because it's been so long before the pandemic hit we were gonna book dear Evan Hansen the night it came out and I was like let's book it let's book it because we were gonna be in London and then Alex, because he's a bit more cautious about booking things, he's like, let's just wait till tomorrow and think about it first. And then it's sold out. So he felt a bit bad. <laughs> so it's been like two years and I'm so looking forward to it because I absolutely love Ben Platt. Not that he's obviously going to be in the show because it's on the West End, but I just really love his music and listen to Dear Evan Hansen's soundtrack a lot. And I haven't watched the movie, so I was saving it so I could actually watch it in theatre. I can't wait. It's going to be so good. I think it's going to be amazing. I've missed going to the theatre and seeing musicals so much. And Alex actually really likes it, don't you? You do. You enjoyed The Waitress and you enjoyed Wicked. I did. Yes, they're both very good. Yeah. I think you're going to like this one. Uh, I don't know, because I've heard the soundtrack a lot and it annoys me. But that's because I play it on repeat. I think if you watch the actual <laughs> show... <laughs> yeah, you did that with The Waitress. But that annoyed you too. That was a good soundtrack. I mean, I think they're both good soundtracks. Which one's better? But I had to pick probably The Waitress. There you go. <laughs> you admit it. Well, I'm just so excited. I can't wait. Anyway, let's go to dinner. so good if you're in Brighton go to Moshimo and have a vegan feast definitely get the sushi boat that was great what was your favorite part sushi boat yeah the sushi boat also the kimchi was great it was good morning it's our last morning here we woke up this morning and we've used the pool and the sauna and everything which was lovely we're gonna have breakfast We've got to figure out what we're going to do with this cake. The housekeeper's cleared away the box, so we've asked them what we can do. I think we're going to have to cut it up and put it in some containers because you're coming home with me. Anyone watch TikTok and all this? <laughs> <laughs> we're out of the hotel. Alex needs to change gear because <laughs> he nearly stalled. <laughs> so we had our breakfast. Brighton Harbour Hotel and Spa really lovely hotel the spa experience was amazing the fact that that was like 
part of the cost of the hotel makes it actually really affordable compared to the original hotel that we were in yeah. uh, which was essentially the same price but didn't have that that was so great i loved the spa i loved the swimming pool um the room was gorgeous the view was gorgeous breakfast the worst they had a vegan full english but i didn't fancy that i just wanted some like avocado on toast it was so bad <laughs> i complained to them because i was like it, it's just really like disappointing it breakfast was. and for you as well it was fine yeah fine. but like it i just hate when uh, restaurants do that when they're just like oh you're vegan just have this just we won't put any extra effort in we're just gonna throw on just a tiny amount of avocado on the thinnest piece of toast and just you're gonna have to pay the same yeah. price for it as everyone else even though you have like no options basically your options are avocado toast and then some jam on toast and then some fruit but anyway. overall a very good experience i was gonna give them a 10 out of 10 i'll give them a 9 out of 10 because <laughs> yes. the food wasn't great yeah. but overall really really loved that hotel <laughs> and to be honest we only had breakfast at this morning out of convenience because of needing to get to London. But if we were going home, I would have just gone and eaten in town because I love to eat out. I don't usually like eating in hotels because the food usually is kind of bad. Yeah, unless you like lots of toast and juice. Yeah, or you're not vegan. Yeah, Yeah. of course. Yeah. <gasps> Look, the pier. Yeah, yeah. Today is such gorgeous weather. It's a shame it wasn't like this yesterday because we could have gone out and explored a bit more. Yeah. But it's nice to see Never it mind. today. I've been on the pier before. I mean, yeah, we lived here, but look how lovely oh. the sun. Oh. I feel a bit funny today because obviously um, the news about Russia and Ukraine and I spent too much time on my phone. And yeah, if any of you are from Ukraine, I don't know if I have any Ukrainian followers, then my heart goes out to you and i don't know i don't know what to say because it's just such a devastating it's just such devastating news and it's just hard to comprehend why war is still a thing in this day and age but yeah it's just so so sad and i want to send my love to anyone who has family and friends in ukraine or if you are in ukraine because it's just the most heartbreaking news and if you are from the uk and or from elsewhere in the world and you're scared then um make sure to take some time off looking at the news because it can be really overwhelming especially if you're an empathetic person and you feel emotional about these kinds of things and it overwhelms you and gets you really anxious and all that kind of stuff make sure to stay um educated about everything but not to you know to give yourself a break essentially is what i'm saying <laughs> because i do that i get overwhelmed by what's going on and want to know everything and it affects me emotionally so yeah i just want to remind you to take take time off um and only in situations like this it's kind of like there's nothing that you can do apart from show your support and i'll leave some links below maybe for ways you can show support um but if you can't you can't do anything because you're not in control of it you've got to just you've got to take time away from it um and not, not get too worried i saw like a tiktok yesterday which was really helpful where she was like it's important to, to know what's happening but don't worry yourself because you can't do anything unfortunately in this situation so yeah just got to i don't know have solidarity and then i don't know good ending anyway um hopefully my videos can be a place of calm and respite and we're gonna have a lovely day in london and i'll share it with you and hopefully make you feel a bit happier and have a bit of um escapism for the day we're gonna drive past our old house oh my goodness this is weird this is why i used to walk every single day and it's so bizarre if any of you have done this when you come back to places that you lived for a really long time, it feels like you were here yesterday. Like, looking at this doesn't feel like unfamiliar. I was like, yeah, I, used to, I walked here yesterday to the gym. Our friends Blue and Peter live here now and they're actually having a really difficult time there with the new landlord. Oh, look. Oh, we've got plants out the front, that's nice. Oh my goodness, how weird. So strange. Yeah, it's a real shame. Um, when we moved out, our friends Blue and Peter moved in because they wanted to move to Brighton. And um, 
they had a really nice time, I think, to begin with, but they're having a difficult time because of the new landlord and they're doing loads of construction and it's stopping um, Blue especially, I think. I don't know about Peter, what he's doing work-wise, but obviously she creates content as well and she's not able to uh, create content online and everything and it's just, I feel so bad for them that they're having such a difficult situation there. And uh, obviously because of the pandemic, it's difficult to find a new place to live. So I really hope that they manage to figure something out it's big tesco we used to shop here all the time definitely filmed a video or two in there haven't we do you remember at the beginning when we had to go in the costa to get wi-fi to upload videos yeah because it was about two weeks we had no wi-fi in the yeah. flat yeah. Can we see him? So who are these guys? Dog. Cat. Rabbit. That's their names. So we're at the shopping centre. It's the Livat shopping centre. And they've got this table here today. This is what we're here for. This is the um, the job we're doing today. It's basically an event they've invited us to come to because it opened yesterday. So there's like a, it's the first, I think, high street Ikea that's like a small Ikea and I am very excited to go in and look at the homeware um, and they're doing this thing today all in the Swedish tradition of fika which basically is right after hello and thank you fika is one of the most important Swedish words for a traveller to know pronounced fika it is usually translated as a coffee and cake break but although this is partially correct it's much more than that fika is a concept a state of mind an attitude and an important part of Swedish culture Many Swedes consider that it is almost essential to make time for fika every day. It means making time for friends and colleagues to share a cup of coffee and a little something to eat. So basically I think they're encouraging people to sit down and um, take time to stop, which is what I talk about quite a lot, and um, to slow down and they've got a little fun task where you basically, I've done this little sign that says everything will be okay, and you basically either write like an affirmation or you do things you love like Alex did animals that he loves and I've seen other people's ones and they write down like lists of things they love or draw up like, all the things they love and it's pretty cute um, so it's actually really nice to just do this and stop we'll go and explore in a second I think aren't we? it's very pretty they've got all these lovely um, lantern-y fluffy things it's a very nice feel in here I've just realised that our hotel is right near the National History Museum and the V&A. Not that we're going to have time to go to either, but maybe we should. I don't know. <laughs> So beautiful. Do you remember the last time we came here with the David Attenborough thing? Yeah, yeah. That was pretty cool. Look at it, it's so stunning. Okay, so we just got to our hotel. Very cute little room. You can see the National History Museum there with the two towers looking beautiful. And then a really sweet little bathroom. Actually really impressed with this. So um, it's the Ampersand Hotel. Alex booked it through, excuse my hair, I just whacked it up because it's annoying me. Alex booked it through uh, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, uh, which is really good to get like cheaper deals at nice places. This is like a five star hotel. <laughs> People at the desk were lovely. We're getting complimentary champagne. Everything in the um, mini bar is complimentary. I'm gonna actually, she mentioned popcorn. So I think I'm gonna grab that. Some popcorn. So only here for one evening this is like all you ever need isn't it but i just i get comfort being in a really like nice location so this is in kensington it's obviously really close um to the national history museum like i said and the vna so a really great location and i think it's like quite close for us to get to where we're going later because we're going to go see dear evan hansen and gonna go out to eat um because i've had bad it's like we had that bad experience in brighton i have had bad experiences with hotels um so it's nice to know that it's like a it's a good hotel, but you're getting a cheap room. Um, 
I feel like that's the way to go. This is like 148 pounds, I think. Sorry, our champagne was just delivered. Oh, yeah, so it's complimentary. I think that's maybe because Alex just signed up to Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I'll ask him. I don't know if that's just like a general thing you have anyway, but very pleased if you're like me and you get anxious in big cities and stuff like that. This is a nice one. I'm still, staying in hotels is still quite a novel thing for me because growing up, that was not a thing. <laughs> I think I was saying National History Museum. It's the Natural History Museum. You know, your brain, your brain doesn't connect to your mouth. That's what happened. <laughs> it's the Natural History Museum. You tired? Your yes. butt looks good. Looks good. Yeah, it looks peachy. Nice it's kind of surprising because you don't have a bum. Why would you say that? <laughs> On the internet. You don't have a bum. It looks thinking, like you do in these trousers. Have you, has anyone seen uh, when we were watching uh, Tom and Pammy, that's it. Mm. And then Sebastian Stan, there's a bit where he has his bum out. And I thought, oh, he has a really small bum like me. <laughs> Makes you, you feel better about yourself. Oh, I love your small bum. <laughs> I'm probably just going to take my iPhone, so I don't know how much I'll vlog for the rest of the video. So if I don't say goodbye verbally, goodbye. Thanks for watching. Sorry I didn't film more of Brighton, but we just went with the flow and we decided not to... We sort of filmed over a few days, so... Yeah, I didn't want to, like... I wanted a holiday, yeah. so, yeah. Maybe when we come to edit it, it'll be quite long. I think it will, because I chatted quite a lot. Yeah. So I think it'll be okay. Anyway, if I don't say anyway. anything, goodbye. <laughs> I might say goodbye at the end of the night, who knows? <laughs>